What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and um, the biggest thing that I saw yesterday in terms of Nintendo news is that Star Fox for the, uh, well, Star Fox Zero was being pushed back to 2016. Now, I know I haven't really done too many news videos in a while, so I figure the best place to start is on something recent, so let's cover this now. I know there's a ton of stuff that I haven't gotten my hands on lately, and it all comes down to that, that really long time period of about a week that I took off, and a lot happens in a week in gaming, as we all know. But, um, you know what, we're gonna start from where we can. Here we go, let's go into this article because this is something that I've been wanting to talk about and uh, a lot of people are upset about it while a lot of people are understanding but um, a lot of games seem like they're just getting pushed back to 2016 so this doesn't really seem to be too strong of a year for Nintendo in terms of like those big titles that come out at the end of the year but um, let's go into the details man. Um, let's see, go here and uh, we're going to pull up the article right here so let's take a look at exactly what the hell is going on here. So Nintendo delays Star Fox Zero for Wii U to 2016. Now, there are some games that are still coming out in 2015 that I think will still be interesting, like um, Fast Racing Neo, for example. That game looks like it's going to be incredible. Now, I haven't talked too much about coverage in terms of that game, but um, I'm looking forward to it big time. Anyways, the Wii U console's 2015 library of upcoming games just got even smaller. Nintendo has confirmed that Star Fox Zero won't be releasing this year as originally planned. It is now scheduled to launch during the first quarter of 2016 but specific details have yet to be announced. The decision to delay the game was made by Nintendo pro producer Shigeru Miyamoto, who shared the following message via Nintendo's official Facebook page. I made a big decision last week. We have been developing Star Fox Zero for Wii U with the aim of releasing it this year. Although we felt that the development has been progressing well, we now believe that we will need a little more time to work on areas such as the unprecedented discovery that we want players to experience in the game by using two screens, and further polishing the level designs and perfecting the tone of the cutscenes. So basically, all around improvements just to make the game feel more polished and um, to, I guess, maybe increase the level of immersion that people have when they use the two screens to develop new areas. That sounds like one pretty big overhaul, to be honest with you. While we already have reached a stage where it would be technically possible to release the title in time for the year-end holiday season, we want to polish the game a bit more so that players will be able to play more... Wait, excuse me. So players will be able to more smoothly grasp the new style of play that we are proposing. To the people looking forward to the launch of this game this holiday season, I am very sorry. Star Fox Zero is going to bring new gameplay and experiences that take it far beyond the framework established by Star Fox 64. All the members of the development team are doing our best so that the final product will not betray your expectations. And the game will not be delayed for a very long time. We're aiming to launch the game in quarter one 2016, so please stay tuned for further announcements. Now. As soon as this announcement happened yesterday, I remember a lot of people saying, well, goodbye for Star Fox on the Wii U, it's definitely going to be on the NX, but he clearly says right here, you know, so I want to make sure that it's known, even though most of you most likely know this by now, it is not being pushed back to the fucking NX, it'll be on the Wii U, guaranteed, considering that he did mention that the game would still use the two screens to be able to incorporate that big time into the gameplay and the discovery aspect. Yeah, definitely Wii U, and I know people are upset about this because, like I said, Nintendo's library for games coming out this holiday season wasn't looking as wasn't looking as robust as it was at the beginning of the year. You know, when we had Zelda Wii U being anticipated and whatnot, and that's being pushed back to the NX, and we have a couple of other games as well too. You know, just in general. Um, but you should all understand. You know, at the end of the day, he's doing this to improve the games, and you know, I know there's a Miyamoto quote out there that mentions something about delayed games being better than games that are released, you know, without those perfections made on them. Like Watch Dogs, for instance. Um, I'm glad that he's at least approaching this from that perspective, and he's, he's letting us know that, hey, man, there's ways that I can see this game being a lot better, so I'm using my best judgment here in ensuring that the game comes out at the quality that I would want it to be. And we all know that Shigeru Miyamoto's quality is top-notch. Um, now, another thing that I wanted to mention is that there is a new Nintendo president as well, too, and I know Miyamoto was being considered for the presidential position. I wonder if he turned it down himself, because they said that it was Miyamoto and um, one other dude who were being considered to take on that next role of running the company, and I, I just wondered, did Miyamoto turn down the position because he was working on so many projects, or that he was balancing so many things on his own end? They didn't really mention that in any of the articles that I saw, so if you know any information about whether Miyamoto denied the presidential position of Nintendo, let me know in the comments, man. But, um, hey man, I trust this dude. He's obviously a gaming legend, he knows what the fuck he's talking about. Let him delay that game, man, and you know, it's not much longer that we have to wait. I'm guessing he means quarter one in spring, so possibly a seeing a March release. 
for Star Fox. I don't want to be excited and say February, but March definitely, March, April, that feels like quarter one in my opinion. But um, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. I want to know if you think this is a good move or if you're pissed off. Obviously, we're all a little bit upset because the game did look interesting, but if he's taking this time off to develop the game even further, then maybe you can add online play, Miyamoto. I mean, that's something that everyone was taken back when you said that it wasn't going to have any kind of online functionality in terms of playing with other people. That was kind of weird. So I'm hoping you take this time to be able to incorporate some kind of system to be able to play with friends online. That would add a whole new dimension to this game. But um, at the end of the day, it's your decision. You do what the fuck you want to do. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.